thanks for joining me here. My name is Chai and welcome to my channel. My goal is to empower you to shine your unique light into the world. With that said, let's get started. Yes, hi. Hi guys. So I'm not gonna do a top-down view. As you can see, I have really worked with Spirit and my Spirit Guides to have this table revamped and I was guided to literally put this theme together for you guys, okay? So this is a, as you know, as you can tell, this is a mermaid vibe set up here. I hope you guys enjoy it. I love aesthetics and that's something that I do thrive on. And um, so at per usual, we have four piles here, okay? So pile number one is this one here. I'll pick it up in a second. Number two, number three, and number four, okay? So if you pick pile one, this is how it looks like. Um, for today's reading, it's going to be a very different kind of reading. It's going to be an intuitive abstract painting, uh, you know, just reading off of the abstract paint. Okay. So this is for you, pile one, pile number two, pile number three, and then pile number four. So you can go ahead and pause the video and then take a longer look at them and then just go down to the description box down below and go to your uh, piles. Remember, take what you resonate with and also you can pick more than one pile if you call feel called to, okay? So this is gonna be reading your energy via this these abstract paintings, all right? <laughs> Hello, guys. So if you picked out this timestamp, it's for group number one. Yes, hi, group one. Thanks for joining me here. So don't mind my nails. I, I know it looks dirty, but it's actually hair dye because I now have blue, sea green, blue hair. Okay, so you're going to see it more and more as we go along, um, you know, in the weeks. But this is what you guys, you guys were really drawn to this, okay? And when I say guys, I, I'm, you know, uh, it's just a frame uh, of phrase, I guess. But I want to let you know that I don't, I read the energy and not um, the gender, okay? So group one, this is what you've got here, okay? So what do I feel from here, all right? So this is all about going within, you know, just the energy itself. And I feel like for you guys, you guys are very, very, oh my gosh, you are definitely more of lovers than a fighter you you love to speak really sweet words um I feel like but these words are not like you don't spew these words just out of nowhere you really put purpose into it because when I look at the yellow here they're very deliberate okay where they are they're very deliberate and you're encased with the blue and the pink so with the way that you do express yourself I think that you have a lot of um communication skills but these communication skills are very deliberate in order for you to deliver words of wisdom of love and of peace you're you're peacemakers okay that's what i feel you guys um i feel like this group group one i feel like you guys are very um you have your third eye chakra open as well but to a certain extent it feels like you're more of like you're you have uh clear cognizance more inner knowing than uh clairvoyancy um but you may you know you may have a lot of different types of uh you know clairs in terms of spiritual um gifts but i feel like you guys are very very intuitive in the way that you speak and the way that you connect with um, you know, within the human connection with other people. Okay. So I feel like that's something that you really do thrive on. Um, what else do I see here? Um, Ooh, yeah. But you know what? I do notice because of these, uh, mucky colors around here. I feel like you do, you don't guess you are a lover rather than a fighter, but if you have to get down and dirty, you will, you will not allow anybody to like step over you. Okay. I feel like, the one thing I do notice, though, is that you do have this tendency to hold in your emotions when it is on the negative side. Not that you're doing spiritual bypassing or anything like that, but I feel like there, it's almost like you have uh, the tendency to l allow things to brew and call and kind of um, you know cultivate for a little bit before you speak your mind because you want to make sure that you're speaking it in a way that 
you know, and it's kind of funny because when I do tap into your energy, I feel like you're really very, um, like you can actually, uh, tailor the words, but the intensity of your expression and all of those things are very to the extreme when it does blow over. Okay. When it does blow up, when you do kind of, you know, had it to the brim. And I feel like, People are not understanding not to mess with you. Like they think that you are such a sweetheart and your face looks really sweet and beautiful and, you know, just not a grouch at all. But little do they know you have, you know, like, what is that phrase? I heard it the other day. It says, just because the monster within this nice, gentle person, you know, is not rah rah rawing or like you know abrupt and things like that doesn't mean that the monster is dead so it's just sleeping or at least it's tamed right so you have a very tamed flame see how like this looks this kind of reminds me of the flames but they're very strategically moved like they they move in a certain way the way that they like i think that you have a very eloquent way to express your words okay and I think that words do really matter for you guys and I I really appreciate that because you know words do matter and words do carry weight although I do sense that there there's a little slight like you're okay you do understand that words do carry weight but you don't put it against people you know how some people they're very strict about knowing that words do carry weight but then they take it to the core of like you know if somebody say just one thing wrong and it's like over the border and that's something that's not very, I don't, that kind of lacks a little, it's, it's a little bit, you know, I don't think that that, that kind of energy is, um, mature. I think that that still needs a little more work, but with you, you're very mature about the way that you express your beliefs and your belief system and the way that you do things and how uh, your your mode of operation, right? You're very good with that. So I think that when people do meet you, they really have to be coming correct, okay? They have to come correct. Um, and if you were to own a business, um, you don't have to, right? But if you were to own a business, I feel like you are the type of boss or the type of owner that will actually set the tone for your shop or your company first hand like you ha you're very good with setting boundaries making the sure that the flame is within its border so it doesn't have any wildfires okay that's what i sense here um i think that's all that i pick up for you guys group number one i know this is a much shorter um video but i want to get something out there for you guys i feel like you know i've worked on a lot of different places and i really do miss you and i'm back i just need to um make more videos and have it out for you guys a little more timely. But here it is, okay? You guys are so awesome. I really appreciate everything that you bring to the table in terms of your spirit and, um, you know, the co human collective and all of the collective, actually. I feel like you are definitely kind of um, the kind of warriors that would actually fight for the rights for people. Um, so, yeah, that's really awesome. With that said, I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, feel free to go ahead and check out my TikTok and my Instagram. I do have new things coming um, for here as well. But I'm going to be, what I'm going to do, there is a little slight revamp for my YouTube channel. I will be making more shorter form videos. But I am still in love with making the pick a card. So I will be producing more pick a cards, but maybe in shorter form um, so that I will be able to maintain and get back onto, you know, giving it to you guys a little bit more frequently, okay? With that said, I love you guys so much. And um, again, check out my social media and I'll see you in the, my next one. Bye! <laughs>picked out this time stamp it is for group number two yes hi group two thanks for joining me here as you can see we did a beautiful revamp here okay so this is totally our vibe right our mermaid vibes okay my mermaid family so group two you have picked out this card here now this reading is slightly different there is no tarot card or or cards okay so this abstract painting is basically what you're gonna see 
And as you can see, I hope you can see that clearly. Don't mind my nails. The, the bl blue dye is actually from my hair. So I have blue hair now. You're going to see it all over the, uh, my channel now. But, you know, I got to live with it. I got to get my nails done. But anyways, so back to here. I miss you guys so much. So group two, you... Oh, and by the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're back um, and you're part of the family, I miss you guys so much. <laughs> I had to say that. So look at this. You. Oh, my goodness. There are lots of things about you, okay? Spirit is saying, turn it sideways. Okay. So, wow. Um, first and foremost, you guys are super intelligent very intelligent group okay you are oh my gosh the reason why i say this is because this kind of reminds me of the fibers within plants leaves the human body the brain okay super super intelligent and i cannot believe um that you don't express it enough sometimes okay that's what i'm picking up I'm picking up that the, you have so much to express, but sometimes you don't express it as much as you should. And I think it's because a lot of it has to do with um, maybe childhood, you know, but for a few of you guys, you have it down pat, but I do notice the reason why I say that too is because you see how there's like this kind of like this fading of color right over here where the heart chakra color is, which is the color green, right? That tells me that you don't express your, oh my God, your deepest desire, right? It, it's almost like you put the need of other people first, usually, and then you'll kind of tailor that and kind of go with the flow. But you, the one thing I do notice, though, is that when you do communicate, you are very good with timing, okay? Timing is like super intuitive for you um, with the blue, okay? Um and the pink really goes with the high heart chakra with the green as well. But I think you're more very like, you have to kind of sit with something for a while in order for you to kind of take on something. Say, for example, if you are working for somebody else and your boss is asking you to do a project, you will literally take your time to kind of learn the bits and pieces of of the different elements of it and and um, component of the project itself and then you will put things together you're a builder for sure um, you're the kind of builder that is very strategic and um, oh, what is that what is that word you're innovative though okay I feel like you you're not shy even though you do keep your strongest desires within yourself most of the time maybe with family only but when it comes to work you have no problem expressing yourself and letting your boss know how you feel because you care about the project right not that you don't care enough for your family to tell them the truth all the time not that you keep things away from them or omit things right but it's more of like timing is very crucial for you you really do respect the timing um you know aspect of things and i think that is very intelligent of you okay because just like the phases of a lot of life cycles right in the human body or or animal or plant life we're all kind of running on cycles and i you have this really acute understanding of you know the life cycle of a living thing okay so for you you know that it takes time to build. It takes time to have things animated, right? So I feel like you're very, very um, intuitive in that way. Um, but I do encourage you to, the reason why I pause is because sometimes it's like, should I say this? Shouldn't I? And Spirit said, you know what? Go for it because we can't always hold back, right? And I, I, I embody the energy of the person that I'm reading. And because you like to hold back a lot in terms of what you really want to say at times, especially to family members and friends, um, I embody that just now. And I felt like, should I say this to Pal too? And then Spirit said, yes, you should. Uh, you know, you got to practice what you preach, right? So that's what I'm doing. Um, now, what else do I see here? Wow. Yes. 
Very. Oh my gosh. So your energy is like this. When you go somewhere, oh my gosh, you permeate, okay? You will literally make people feel so comfortable. And I think that also comes, that it's like a double-edged sword when it comes to like compassion for somebody or something, right? You have a lot of compassion, so much compassion actually, because these colors really do kind of, you know, correlate to, to the essence of compassion. Um, very, mm, what else? I feel like you're very empathic and this is why you choose to operate the way that you do. Um, what else do I see here? I feel like sometimes you underestimate your ability to be innovative though, even though you are innovative at work and, and things like that. But I think, I feel like you sometimes don't realize how, oh my gosh, how life altering your energy can be when it comes to your ideas and stuff. So, because look at these tiny little veins, right? They're so small people overlooking that a lot, right? Because sometimes maybe um, you feel like it could also be, you know, I just got this duality of feeling just now. I feel like sometimes you feel like you're either way too ahead of people or they're way too behind. There's no middle ground with you guys group two. I feel like you guys really want to find uh, camaraderie in this way of, you know, the essence of equality in terms of like skills, right? Or the way that you express love, um, you really want that, but it seems like you have a really tough time or at least a little bit of a challenge to find people who are able to produce that kind of attention uh, for you, okay? To produce that type of love for you. So yeah, it could be related to either, you know, uh, platonic relationships or love relationships, but that's the energy that I picked up for you, group number two. I hope that you enjoy that. Yes, it is a lot shorter than usual, but it's because I want to be able to produce more of these pick a cards for you and also give it a refreshing taste, you know, because sometimes I do, you know, I love all of my tarot decks and oracle card decks, but I, I do want, I like change and this is just kind of give you that, but you know, come back for the next pick a card. It will be a little bit more in depth, but this is something that I wanted to give to you guys because it feels like, you know, if you are watching it during the month of May that I am recording this, you don't have to, it is a timeless reading that a new change is coming for you. Okay. A new, a great, big, wonderful change. There's there, it's almost like I can see the wheel of fortune card and the world card together. So with that group number two, I hope you like that. Again, if you do miss me and you want to check out my TikTok or my Instagram and all my other social media, it is in my about page down my YouTube channel. And um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. <laughs> if you're back and I want to let you know that I miss you guys so much. Okay. So with that said, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>
um, the way that horses run. And I know it sounds funny to say it that way, but the pattern really do. It does remind me when you have a whole bunch of horses on the field and they have no boundary or no border to be, you know, kept inside, you know, they will literally run and run and run and they can run for miles and even in circles if they have to because they are free spirited. Okay. That's what you guys are group three. You guys are very free spirited. I feel like you are meant to do things to invoke the freedom warrior within each person that you meet. Okay. And I feel like your soul has a lot of purpose to it when it comes to delivering freedom to people it's so oh my gosh it's like very prominent here i feel like your energy kind of reminds me like it this kind of reminds me of a warrior's armor as well um so and then parts of it kind of reminds me of a kite i don't know why that is but maybe because when i look at it this way but i'm also an intuitive reader so i pick up on the energy of wind and air and all of that stuff. And that's probably why I picked up the kite thing. But I feel like you're very airy. So you might be an air sign. Or maybe you have a very important placement in your birth chart with the air sign. Um, now, with that said, I feel like there's something you're here to do. And this is not a life purpose reading. But, you know, this is a... You know, it's meant to kind of read your energy um, and your energy, especially for you guys, group three. I feel like you guys are here to do something very specific. Um, there's a sense of inner child, uh, fun, playful. Your, your aura might be a teal, green, blue color, kind of like how, um, you know, these colors here on in the painting, right? Um, and of course here, but lighter, lighter, um, kind of like this one, a little lighter because of the white too. And I feel like you're very intuitive. I feel like you have your, um, crown chakra really blown open. And this is why you get a lot of like, you know, details about certain things to say. If you're very specific in the way that you say things as well. You might even have a quirk in communication. Like you might have something, like when you do talk, maybe your mouth kind of turns to a corner. You know how like Drew Barrymore has, not to say that you look like her, I'm just saying, the quirk is very similar where you'll, you'll, your mouth will turn a certain way every single time. And, um, you know, people really like that. They get, they find that very attractive about you. Um, you might even have like a beauty mark or like a dimple around the mouth area. Um, that just came into my mind's eye. And what else do I see here? Hmm. Yes, you are a flyer. So you might travel a lot or if maybe you work for an airline or maybe you like to travel to different places. Maybe you have that under your belt. Like, you know how like you can look through your passport and you'll see a, diff a lot of different stamps in different countries and stuff. Maybe that's how you live your life and that's something that comes through really strongly here. You don't have to be, but I feel like if that's not the case yet, <laughs> you're going to be traveling, baby. You're going to be really traveling. And I really love that for you because you are so airy that you need that freedom, okay? You need that freedom to be able to kind of be in that element where you're comfortable with. You're actually very comfortable traveling around. You might not like to settle. Um, doesn't have to apply for every person here. I, but I do feel very strongly that somebody in this group, Pal 3, you don't like to settle down as much as other people would, um, which is fine. <laughs> it's really good. Um, you also have a knack for uh, being very sporadic or just very um, spontaneous, right? Spontaneity is in your blood. You, you, you like stability too, but I think the way that you like stability is that you, this, this may be a quote that you really love a lot. It may not be the exact quote, but that saying of, you know, you can always count on change because it is inevitable, right? It's something that will constantly happen. So you are that type of person that will take that as your your living motto and be like, you know what? Change is inevitable. It's okay. I can go with the flow. And I feel like you are able to do that very gracefully, okay? 
Um, what else do I sense here? Oh my god. All right, you may resonate with being a star seed. I mean, obviously, you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, you're most likely, highly likely, right, that you're a star seed. But I feel like the star seed um, that you're from is actually a, not a very well known star seed. I feel like you're a very rare breed, um, something that will be coming out in about a year or two. I feel like this breed, and I'm channeling right now really strongly through my crown chakra instead of my third eye, um, it's going to be very known. It's going to be known within the next one to two years. And it's something that a lot of people probably never heard of because when you go to a lot of starseed readings or even go online to check it out, it's very rare. And I think that your lineage come from that specific planet that was not exposed yet. And I think there was a reason why that was or that is, okay? So, I mean, you can save this video and check back, you know, in a year or two. But I'm just saying that's what I got for my crown chakra. Now, you may also be known, uh, you may be a group that is within the 40s, I believe, or 50s. Um, Mm, not over 55 because I feel like you're also part of the group that is considered the blue ray, right? Um, because of the colors here and blue rays are, you know, I'm a blue ray. So when I look at this card, I see myself. Um, so because of that, spirit is letting me know that you are my family, that you came from the same place I came and originate from. Um, but the place that you came from I know I've had lifetimes with you, but I feel like there must be something else that needs to be said later on. Anyways, I feel like spirit is like, hush, hush, not yet. Okay, I won't say too much. But anyway, so with that said, I hope you enjoy that reading group three. Um, again, you know, I miss you guys so much. And if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Consider subscribing. And also, if everyone misses me, you can check me out over all of my social media accounts. I have TikTok, Instagram, you name it. I'm all on six platforms here. So um, you can go on my about page and check me out there if you miss me. I will be providing more content here on YouTube now that I'm going to kind of restructure everything. I needed to take some time to revamp everything. So here it is. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>
I feel like you're very mysterious, very obviously, I think I said that earlier, right? You're very mysterious in the way that you express yourself. Um, but you don't hold back when it comes to like passion. Uh, with the color red, I feel like that has to do with, um, you may have had now, you know, trigger warning, you may have had a little bit of a trouble growing up with uh, your maybe anger management or, you know, just feeling extremely passionate about something that you kind of go overboard sometimes. So that's something that you, I'm pretty sure, have come to a point of um, being able to uh, refine, right? Um, the, re the reason why I say refine is because if you look at the veins of this painting, it literally looks so, like, majestic like like it like the painting is done you know you are like you age like fine wine okay if you are higher in age you are so beautiful okay and people may also compliment with the way that you age gracefully um if you are younger you are actually very internally mature when it comes to your emotions when it comes to things um, the reason why I say this is because the red is encased with the purple and purple has a lot to do with the crown chakra um, and intuitiveness and things like that. So you're a very spiritual person. So even though if you are young, you know, in, in when it doesn't matter what age bracket you're in or, you know, where you fall into, you carry this wisdom filled um, physique or persona, right? And the things that you say um, to people really do uh, make people realize certain things about themselves and they in turn make a change in their life for the positive okay so when you think about the lava you know there are lots of things that can benefit from it um, you know how the planet is shaped by lava you know how when the planet first formed it was shaped by by all of those things molten rocks and things like that so in actuality the way that you graze the world you know and i say graze is because i feel like you're very um flowy in a way that it cuts through anything like say for example if there's a rock in front of you you will know to either go around to the side or just in case envelop or envelop the rock immediately. There is nothing too big or too small for you to undertake. And that's the kind of mindset that you also have. That's what spirit is letting me know. Um, you have this beautiful, artistic, mysterious um, kind of vibe to you that people, it really is very magnetic. So people will probably be like, Hey, group four, you know, do you want to go, you know, have coffee or have a drink? Sometimes you get a little nervous. Are you, <laughs> okay, let me, let me just be frank here. They do, people do get a little bit intimidated by the, by the way that you express or carry yourself, but they are also very extremely intrigued by the way that you do. Um, you know, and it's, 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 it comes with a lot of experience. Let's just say that. Okay, group four, you guys are very experienced. Doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. Um, I feel like you are a the type of person or people that literally, oh, it's almost like you live this life in a very accelerated program. Okay, so if you were to go to college, you would take accelerated programs to get the but to get the degree in a shorter time span. So I feel like that's your energy. You get things done and you may be very quick, 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 quick with the way that you express and and, and um, get things done and uh, complete tasks, okay? Um, and when I say express, you may even speak very quickly. And that's something that, I mean, even though you don't see blue here, but there's an undertone of blue behind the black, right? And black is also considered water. If you didn't know in feng shui it's it's it it's the element of water but it's the kind of water that are it's very risky okay so people will sometimes feel like um 
with you, they kind of have to make sure that they're ass making assessment first before they go to you about something because best believe you're going to be voicing that, okay? You're not, you don't hold back on your opinion, um, although you do have a very mysterious vibe, but you do have this very intimidating kind of persona when it comes to expression because you are just very abrupt with, not abrupt, maybe strong. You're just really strong with the way that you express your feelings or express your work, you know? I really love that about you because, you know, we're we're not meant to be the same. We are not meant to be a clone of each other. So I'm so glad that you guys are very unique in this way, okay? All groups are, you guys are all, all four of you guys, um, you know, are very unique. But I feel like for group four, I feel like you guys really do have, and I, when I say guys, I mean, you know, energy, right? It's just a, a phrase. But for you, this is, this is really talking about, you know, you really know what you want. And when you know that you want something, you're going to go for it. You're not going to hold back. You know, where how some people will definitely be like, okay, you know what, I'm going to like take a lot of time on something, but you, boom, you know, you take a lot of risk um, for a lot of you guys. A lot of people in this group do take risks. Um, if you don't think that you take risks, really look, okay, go back to your life and really look at, you know, analyze it because if you, once you break it down and be like, wow, I don't think that other person would do this, you know, oh, wow, I don't think this person would do that or, or these people would do that. And I'm telling you, you have a lot of things on your resume and on your life resume to show that you are a risk taker, okay? So a lot of like entrepreneurial chip kind of energy with group number four. I feel like um, if not entrepreneurial, I feel like you are risk takers or maybe like adrenaline um, fiends, you know, not to say it in that way. I'm sorry. Um, what's a better way to, to kind of describe like you like adrenaline, you really go off the high of life and doing, you may like roller coasters or maybe like parasailing or, or actually parasailing might be a little too boring for you because they just stay in the air, but you might like parasailing, what is that, uh, what is that diving, air diving, what is that called? I forgot what that's called, but yeah, skydiving, uh, bungee jumping kind of deal. You don't have to, but when you do go to an amusement park, you don't hold back, okay? That's the energy that I did pick up with you guys. So with that said, I hope you enjoy that. Again, if you guys miss me, you can go ahead. I'm going to produce more uh, forms like this so that I can produce more for you guys here on YouTube. Um, but if you do miss me, you can go ahead and check out, you know, my TikTok or my Instagram. You know, I'm on different platforms there and on my about page is my social media link okay so with that said i'll see you in my next one bye